Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1 back again with the other Lego build video I was going to do. Or am doing. Whatever. Um, this is the Man of Steel or Superman Metropolis Showdown set with Superman and Zod, who are the only two characters I wanted out of all the Man of Steel sets, so this is why I got this one. Um, so, let's put it together. Seriously? We have two? Yep, we have two instruction booklets for this set. I can already guess what they are. This is the little tower rock face thing, and this is the car. So, okay. Let's we'll set the second book off to the side. Bring the first book back here. Toss the box off to the side, and we'll open up the bags. So there's all the small stuff. So first, we will open this little white box, which contains Superman's cape. And we will put Superman together. Cape. Here's his head. We will give him the angry eyes, the laser vision eyes, and then the hair pieces are over here in the small stuff. This looks like super. Nope, this is Zod's hair piece. Um, so here, let's grab Zod. Oh. They put Superman's hairpiece in the big bag and Zod's hairpiece in the little bag. Okay. Okay, so here's Superman with his laser eyes. And just real quick, here's Superman's regular face. Okay, so laser eyes Superman. And then there it is. And there's Zod's regular face, and then his laser eyes. So we'll have, we'll both give them both their laser eyes. And then we'll just have them over here staring at each other, doing laser eyes. Okay. So yes, I called it. This is the Tower and Rubble set. Okay, so that sets there. And then we get two of these little things. Oh, and I just want to throw this out there. <laughs> Since I'm doing a Man of Steel set, I actually liked the movie. Yes, the movie is full of flaws. But, I still liked it. I know it's not... It's, uh, but then again, I will. I will also say that I liked Superman Returns better than... Uh, Man of Steel. If that redeems me at all. Um, but Superman 2 is still the ultimate um, Superman movie. 
I haven't seen the Richard Donner cut yet, but I, I desperately want to. Um, so we'll set the, that there. And then we put two more of those little gray pieces. Oh, no, just one. Put one there. Then we get two of these things. And put one here. And one here. And then we get a little itty bitty piece like this. Put it like that. And then we get three of these pieces. Put that there, and then get another one of the little small pieces. And put it here. And then we put a little gray piece find the other gray piece. There it is. Put it here. And then get another gray block. Put it here. And then we get to do this part again. Put this here at the edge. And we get to put more little triangles. One here. Oops. One here. And then we get to put the last big triangle right here. Here. And then we take this piece and put one of these here and one of these here. And then we take the little circular metal pieces that are flat on top, which I think they made the new Two Face coin back when they restarted the DC Lego sets and then they just put a scratch mark on one side um, oh no we don't put one on this side oops I read that wrong okay so we put this right here And then we take the tower, and we take this piece, put them here, and then we get a little spire piece, put it on top, and then we take this, this, and put them together. And then we get the dish, and we get a little claspy piece, and we stick this right here, and then it tells us that if we push down on this piece, we can knock the tower over. Yay. Alright, so that's that. Okay, put that booklet to the side with the little tower piece that I put to the side. And now we get the big book, or bigger book, and we get to put a car together. So first, it tells us to put this like this. Let me 
get these. I'm going to put little yellow pieces. Put a yellow piece and take a gray piece, or don't know what color that would be, off white. And then we take these. piece or off white piece and then we put a white piece here and then let's see oh here there to these Sorry these aren't very talkative, it's... Unlike Evangelist, I don't really know how to make these funny. I could keep talking about the movie. Um, yeah, like I said, I liked uh, Superman, or, yeah, um, I liked Man of Steel. Um, is it the greatest Superman movie ever to come out? No. Um, but I liked the new guy who's playing Superman. Um, I liked Lois Lane. I thought it was an odd casting choice to make Perry White um, Lawrence Fishburne, but he did a good job. Um, it's kind of funny, they didn't introduce Jimmy Olsen uh, into the movie. They... Uh, Lombard, I think his name is. They introduced Lombard, who's kind of like the office jerk. Uh, they put him in it, but they didn't put in Jimmy Olsen. Maybe they're saving him for the Batman Superman movie or the Man of Steel 2. Whichever's which. Uh, oh, no, I want this piece. And the one that looks like it. There we go. Okay. Um, I liked the actor who played Zod. That was a very good Zod. Um, I actually sympathized more with Zod, uh, than I did with any of the other characters. Um, cause the part after all the Kryptonians and the dude from Law and Order got sucked into the Phantom Zone, um, and you see Zod standing there, or kneeling actually, um, holding dust in his hands, and he's saying that Everything I did was for Krypton, whether it be good, bad, or or ugly. Um, it was all for Krypton's benefit, and you took Krypton from me. Now my life has no purpose. I I felt for, for Zod. I felt like Superman tr truly broke Zod. Um, where is... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I actually felt for his character. I thought that that was a very fleshed out Zod and had, he had more of a purpose to taking over rather than just, I'm taking over because I want to, i.e. the Superman 2 Zod. Um, and I liked the, uh, I liked Feora, um, who actually was the name of the female Kryptonian that was trapped with him in the comic books, um, instead of, what was it, uh, Ursa. Um, nothing against the name, it's just I thought it was cool that they gave her the actual comic book name. Um, and then they made, they made a nice little, uh, kind of a nod towards, um, Ursa and Nan when they had Feora and the dude who kept his face mask on the whole time. Uh, it was a nice little throwback touch. 
to Superman 2, uh, when they were both fighting against uh, Superman in Smallville. Um, and then the other thing that a lot of people didn't like about, or one of the things that people didn't like about uh, Man of Steel is uh, Kevin Costner as um, as Pa Kent. And I agree with that. I did not think he was a very good Pa Kent. Um, I don't know why they keep killing Pa Kent in the movies. He stayed alive in the comic books for a long, long time. He he actually, I think it was, he died uh, right when Superman came back from being dead. Um, it was right after he came back that... that um, Pa Kent died in the comic books. Um, so I don't know why the movies like killing him off, but this this was this just took the cake for worst uh, worst death scene. Because um, yeah, there were a lot of ways that that Superman could have saved him without outing himself. Um, but no, we'll just let him get taken away by a hurricane or not a hurricane, uh, tornado. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just leave, just leave Ma Kent in financial distress for the rest of her life. Um, but, and then, the other thing that's a big controversy that I actually found, I, I, I actually liked, well, not liked, but I, I didn't care much, um, either way, but, uh, the next snap, uh, at the end of the movie... Um, I actually, I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I actually feel that that was, if anything, the appropriate way to deal with Zod. Because if Zod wasn't going to rein himself in and just, you know, stop trying to kill people, um, then I really didn't see any other way of containing him on Earth. Because we got rid of the only way to send him to the Phantom Zone with the ship. Um, we don't really have any maximum security supervillain prisons on Earth. Because with this new Superman movie becomes a new DC movie universe. Um, so we really have no way to, to contain Zod. Um, Superman doesn't have a Fortress of Solitude yet. Um, so it's really what, what can we do with, with someone like that? It's like, yeah, what can we do with Superman? But well, Superman's working for us or with us. So don't have to worry about him, but Zod's trying to kill us. So we, we really have nowhere to put him. So, the next snap, I didn't have a problem with. Um, yes, I do I do think that Superman shouldn't kill people, but I do think that this is going to play part, or play a part in his, in his life later on down the movie series. Um, I think it's going to be, it's going to come up again. Maybe during the Batman Superman movie, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I I still liked the the Man of Steel, and I bought it on Blu-ray because I buy all the superhero movies on Blu-ray, um, at least all the current ones. I'm not rebuying all the old movies. Um, Is that in there? Okay, yes it is. Um, but yeah, I I gave it a chance. It kind of failed, but it kind of did what I thought it was going to do. Um, so, whatever. Alright, so we built the car. And so now what we're supposed to do with the car is park it right here. So that way... When you either Zod throws Superman or Superman throws Zod over here, we can flick 
and roll the car over. And then we can flick and knock the tower over. So it's basically just collateral damage. Oh, okay. And the instructions tell us, put Zod in the car. So, we will follow the instructions. We will put Zod in the car. We will park the car where it is to be parked. And Superman, in his infinite rage, shall not break his neck. I just want to see this real quick. Okay. Um, we will not break Zod's neck. We will... Oh, what? Let's try that again. Um, Superman will flip his car. There we go. I guess it really adds all that weight just having a Kryptonian sitting in it. Huh. But, there you go. There's, um... What was the name of this? The Superman Metropolis Showdown. Or just Superman vs. Zod. So, I'm Spider Prime 1. This is Superman. This is Zod. I liked Man of Steel. See you next video. I'm signing off.